Okay, in this video, we're going to create our first home page, our first web page. And to do that, we need to talk about our views.py file. We need to talk about our URLs.py file. And we also need to talk about the settings file very quickly. Let's do that real quick. We should actually should have done this earlier. Let's close some of these. When we created our quotes app, this directory right here, we need to add that app to our settings.py file. And that is in our original stocks directory. So click on settings and just kind of scroll down here to installed apps. Remember our quotes is a is an, is an app. So we just need to add that here. So just type in quotes, Q U O T E S, and then stick a comma at the end of it. So anytime you create a new app, you do you need to add it to this list. And that's all we added. It's very simple. So okay, now let's talk about sort of the interaction of everything in Django. So to create a web page, it needs to touch a couple of things, right? It needs you need a views.py file, sort of the brains behind the scene, you need a URL, so we know where it is. And you need the page itself. So basically three things, and they all kind of interact together. So first things first, let's talk about creating the page itself to do that. We head over to our quotes directory and right click and create new folder. And you can see down here, we can name it. So let's name this guy templates. So T E, oops, where'd we go? There we go. T E M P L A T E S. And those are going to be the pages themselves, the actual web pages, right? So we can come over here to our templates file or directory. There's nothing in it right now. And we can right click and create a new file. You can see it pops right up. And let's just type in H1 Hello World H1. Right? So now we can hit file and save this guy. And let's just save this as home.html. It's going to be our home page. And you'll notice it's in the templates directory. That's important. And when we do that, boom, it pops up right there. So we can close this. And anytime we want to mess around with this, we can just by clicking on that. All right. So next, we need a view for that, that home page. Right? So head over to our stocks quotes and views.py file. And let's get rid of this. And we need to create a Python function for our home template, our home page. So to do that, we type in d define and let's call this home. And we need to pass in request and then colon. Now inside of here, anything we write, this will you know, work for this page. Now this request is a browser request. So what happens is somebody goes to our homepage, they go to our URL for the homepage, which we don't have yet, but we will. And uh, then the web browser kind of connects to our project, and it sends a request, it's that person is requesting this page, right? So that request gets passed into the function. And then the function returns something it does something right. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to return. And we want to render a new web page. And so we type in request, pass that request guy. And now what page do we want to render? We want to render that home.html page. And then we need to pass in a dictionary and we can leave this blank for now. And we'll talk about more what this is later on. So save this. Now, this already has render. Um, I think for now, we could just leave that we're going to add stuff to this later on. Okay, so we're getting there. Now we've got our home function, it's pointing to our home.html file, which is in our templates directory. So now we just need to sort out the URLs. So head in here and tab over hit the tab key do not space, you always want to hit the tab key with Python because Python is tab sensitive, right? So let's create a new path for our new home page. And it's, it's nothing we don't want the URL to be anything we want it to be our home page. So when somebody goes to localhost 8000, this one will pop up, you could if you really wanted to type in home.html. And if you did, then someone would, ha would have to type in home.html for this to show up. But we don't want that we want this page to be the home page just this localhost 8000. We want to get rid of this little rocket ship guy, right? So we do that home.html and then a comma. 
Now, where is this? What, where's the view for this? It's at views.home, which is this function, right? And then we need to name this. So let's call it name equals uh, home, right? So almost done. We now also from this directory, the period stands for this directory, we want to import views. So go ahead and save this. Why are we importing views? Because, oops, misspelled, there we go, from views.home, because this is the views file. We want to be able to access this views file inside this file, so we have to import it. And that's how this works, right? So save this, make sure your homepage is saved, make sure uh, your views.py file is saved. Now, I think that should do it. So <laughs> head back over here and click reload. Uh oh, page not found. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was showing you how to change that. I forgot to take it back out. All right, so this needs to be in our quotes urls.py file. This needs to be empty. Save this. Now ah, it'll work. And boom, we get this hello world, which is just this right here. And now, if we wanted to do home.html here, we save this. Notice if we hit reload, we get an error again. But if we go to home.html, it'll pop right up, right? So this is not what we want. We don't want this home.html URL. We just want, like I said, the, the home page itself to be that. So we need to get rid of that. Save this, reload, boom, it works. So kind of a lot to take in how all these things kind of interact together so let's just go through it real quickly from the top this is our urls.py file in our stocks directory our original urls.py file we added this include and then said hey from now on get all of our urls for the quotes app in the quotes.url file so now we can close this we're done with this for a long time now now our urls.py file, we're importing from this directory, from period, from the quotes directory. We want to import our views, which is down here, right? Our URL patterns, we have one path for our home page, empty. We want it to point to views.home and we want to call it home. We'll see what this name thing is for later on. So then this points to views.home, which is just this views.py file, this home function. We're passing in the browser request and we're returning this home.html file. The home.html file is located in templates, home.html, and then there it is. So a uh, lot's taken in, kind of a convoluted process, but they're all kind of connected. It's all sort of circular, right? This points to that, which points to that, which points to that. A uh, little, little much to take in right away, but just something you'll memorize. And it's, it'll be like a old hat once you do this a few times. Um, and you should be good to go. So I think that's all for this video. In the next video, maybe we'll add one more page to sort of reinforce what we just learned here and do it one more time so it's a little bit easier to follow maybe, and we'll look at that in the next video.